Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new battle for you today. It's against Newbie, who I met through the smog on Battlefinder. Uh, I don't believe he has a channel. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my El Cabong, my uh, Roserade, as he leads off with his Masquerade. I'm like, okay, we all know what's coming. Quiver dances, I'm going to put this thing to sleep, not have to worry about it at all. And so, yeah, he's off to sleep, and that's great. I'm going to go ahead and get off a free round of Toxic Spikes. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get off two layers of Toxic Spikes. It's going to be excellent. But no, he wakes up. Eh, first turn wake up. So annoying! So annoying! Anyway, yeah, he goes ahead and gets off a second quiver dance, and I'm like, that's okay, I'll put him back to sleep, it'll all be good. Go over the sleep powder, it misses. I'm like, oh, man, maybe he'll be greedy. But no, he goes for the air slash, I'm like, please, please no flinch, please no flinch, because I've got the focus dash, I knew he can't kill me. Um, no flinch, sleep powder hits, thank you God! Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out here, thinking I really need this guy dead more than anything. So I go ahead and send out Uchikoma, my um, floating Metagross. Gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. I really should have gone for the Agility because I would have outsped, uh, you know, plus two on my end is I believe faster than him, plus two. Anyway, instead I go for the Ice Punch, he sends in his Jirachi, Fire Punches me, breaks my Air Balloon, I go ahead and go for the Earthquake, um, and it's not enough to take KO. It does almost enough to KO, but not quite. Anyway, he's gonna Fire Punch me again. I survive with 31 HP, but I get the burn, I'm like, no, seriously? Go for the Meteor Mash, expecting a switch, no switch on his end, but um, the burn is going to take me out, so it's a double down situation. I really shouldn't have gone for Meteor Mash, that was actually a pretty stupid move, um, because there was a chance it could miss, and yeah. So anyway, Cresselia versus Elkabong with 1 HP, I go ahead and get off my second round of Toxic Spikes as the Psychic hits, and you know, it was it was expected, but Elkabong did its job, and that's setting up Toxic Spikes, so that's awesome. I go ahead and send out Umbreon, um, make my Umbreon, my signature Umbreon, who has been my signature Pokemon um, on this team since it was a PBR team, and I just love this guy. Anyway, he's, he goes ahead and sets up his screens, I go ahead and keep on curse. I decide to curse here. Um, because my first payback did absolutely nothing thanks to the fact that he's got to reflect up. My opponent is going to go ahead and withdraw Kashalia and go ahead and go into Mew. Uh, I don't remember whether I cursed the turn. Yeah, I did curse the turn. So that Mew is toxic, and so that's nice. Um, yeah, so I get, I'm now at plus two, I believe. Um, anyway, my opponent decides to nasty plot this turn, and I'm like, oh crap, that is not good. Because I don't think at plus two... I can take him out, especially considering there's a Reflect Up. It actually does a lot, so without the Reflect, that would have been a one-hit KO, so that's actually really awesome. Um, oh, the Poison's doing great stuff, and plus two Auras here, I'm like, okay, well, bye-bye, Mick. At least it did some damage, but I survive because I'm sassy, max uh, special D, and yes, I KO, and that is badass. Mick, uh, you know, pulled off some pretty amazing shit back and forth, Jen, and Mick is back, baby. So yeah, Scald is not going to be good because uh, if I get burned, I don't get to pass off the burn to him thanks to Synchronize because uh, he's already poisoned. I survived with 14 HP from that second Scald, and I'm like, yes! And I get back half my HP thanks to Wish. And it's like, yes, 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 Mick, you are doing work today. And, you know, Mick has not really done well since the generation split, or not since the generation split, since going to Gen 5. But today, it's doing work. Anyway, go ahead and send out Ringo, which is Cursed Body, not Water Absorb. Because look, I mean, look how much little damage that takes. I mean, water, absor water attacks are already resisted. Why would you do Water Absorb? Cursed Body, on the other hand, is an amazing move, and it's a little bit hacksy. I mean, 30% chance. That's the same as, um, you know, Scald Burning, so whatever. Anyway, go ahead and taunt, uh, apparently, his Celebi. Um, so... I know it's going to attack, it probably runs some kind of grass type move, I'm thinking, you know, maybe grass knot, energy ball, what have you. Going to go ahead and switch out into Pazuzu to wall that thing, um, because, I mean, there aren't too many better walls uh, for Celebi than uh, Zapdos. So yeah, I mean, unless it's carrying Hidden Power Ice, but it doesn't have the best special attack, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I could take that. This is a, this is a physically defensive Zapdos, not a specially defensive Zapdos, but even so. So anyway, uh... He switches out to Cresselia, I just go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt just to try to get some damage off. And it actually does a decent amount of damage, but Cresselias usually run some kind of recovery mood. I think, I think it's Moonlight. Anyway, I go ahead and send Mick back out as my opponent goes ahead and sets up uh, at least one more screen. And not wanting to hit, get a payback, i um, going to go ahead and switch out into Masquerade. going to lower my attack, and as I go for the Wish. Yeah, I was predicting a switch there, and I just figured, go for the Wish, someone else will be able to get it. I go ahead and send out Leela, my Darmanitan, and I'm like, okay, 
uh, want to KO this thing before it wakes up, but, you know, he doesn't realize, or maybe he, my opponent does realize, and he's just, you know, using the switches back and forth, using uh, Masquerade as kind of a pivot, but, um, you don't burn off sleep turns. Every time you switch your po uh, your sleeping Pokemon back in, your sleep counter resets, which is really lame, I think. But it means that you can't just burn off random sleep turns. So anyway, out comes Celebi. Really interesting choice to bring out against a um, uh, fire type. But I figure maybe he's faster. I mean, he's obviously offensive. I uh, know yeah, he goes through the Earth Power, so I have a feeling it's probably running running timid max speed. In which case, it would have outsped my Dramanitan. Um, he's going to go ahead and go for the Psychic. Pazuzu is going to be able to survive that fairly well. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Heat Wave, but since it, he's behind the Light Screen, it's not going to do very much. I think I'm just going to Toxic Stall this guy out. I can do it. I mean, it's not that bad. Um, my opponent goes for the Psychic. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Roost here, and, you know, it's going to recover more than he's doing, so I figure I'm set. I just have to wait for his uh, Toxic Damage to build up enough. Then again, he could go for the Heal Bell. This is true. Uh, not Heal Bell, I'm sorry, Aromatherapy. Um... Selby is a great cleric. But anyway, yeah. Psychic gets a crit. Bye bye, Pazuzu. I am sad. And now his uh, Celebi is going to die thanks to that poison, so it's a double down. Out goes Masquerade. In comes Lila. And I am going. And yeah, the Intimidate is going to suck because it's going to lower my attack. But whatever, I'll stay in. Gonna go ahead and go for the Sheer Force Boosted Rock Slide, uh, which I figured was going to get his Masquerade down to its sash. Um, actually, he said later that it wasn't running a Sash. Uh, I don't remember what I, he said it was running, but it wasn't a Sash. I, I think I convinced him that Sash was actually a really good item for a lead uh, Masquerade, considering how frail it is. Um, you, you basically, you're guaranteed one Quiver Dance. Anyway, Masquerade is back out. I think he's just using it to sponge hits. So anyway, go ahead and use Surf. Doesn't do very much damage. I'm going to go ahead and call back and send out Leela and... Here, I think he's just going to leave in his Masquerade to die. So yeah, Rock Slide is going to hit, Masquerade is down, 4x affected, didn't stand a chance. Uh, and out comes Cresselia yet again. So I believe now this is his last Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and send out Mick, and I'm pretty sure I completely wall this guy. He, so he goes ahead and uses Psychic, and he keeps on using Psychic, and I'm like, I'm going for the Wish, I'm like, I'm just going to stall this guy out, I don't care what he does, and, he, and now I go for the Curse. And he keeps on using Psychic, so it's quite obvious what he's doing. Um, he's basically forfeited the game, but he wants to see it through to the end rather than uh, running. So I have great respect for that. He, there's really nothing he could have done against my Embryon. So this game, this is good game. This is the end of the battle. So, excellent battle, newbie. Um, you know, yeah, he said he was new to Pokemon pretty much, but still he gave me a good battle. I mean, it wasn't completely one-sided. Uh, I had to do a lot of switching. I had to stay on my toes. So yeah. Great game, uh, hope you folks enjoyed it, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.